Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome back. It's me, Tri-State EDC, here once again with another uh, knife from Blade Ops, from the big box of Blade Ops stuff that they sent me. Uh, and today, we're taking a look at a new Benchmade that's not new. It's been out for a while, but it's new to me. Once again, continuing the uh, Blade Ops unboxing here. They just sent me a mountain of stuff when I asked for it, and it was very nice of them. I don't get to keep any of this, but I do get to check it out. And this, it's been a while since I've unboxed a new Benchmade on the channel. I think the last Benchmade I got was the one we did the live stream shopping trip to the, to like the outdoor store to buy the 940. But this is one I've always been interested in. I've played with it, I've handled it, but I've never had one on the channel. And I wanted, I wanted to check it out. I wanted to share it with all of you. This is the Adamus in crew wear. The big one. The big daddy. The big papa. There's your uh, model number. For those of you interested, I'm sure you know about it already. Black class bench made. Tactical. It's a tactical bench made. Let's open this thing up. Has the seal. This is sealed. Bro. You know. I'm sorry. Blade Ops. But I gotta, I gotta open it, you know. By the way, Benchmade, you know the drill. Made in the USA, lifetime warranty, basically no questions asked. Boom. Nice little clamshell. Usually the case with a Benchmade. This is tactical. I don't know what this is. Is it like a necklace? Is this like a choker collar? Do I look cool? Guys, we got the Axis Lock thingy deal in here and the paperwork and the maintenance and all that stuff. I, what is, genuinely, what the fuck is this? What is this? Uh, Malice Clip is a registered trademark of Tactical Tailor Incorporated. I, I'm going to put that away before I hurt myself. Don't know what that is. The knife comes in this really, really nice, like, molly pouch thing. Like, this is a nice add-on. Uh, Velcro everywhere, so you can mount this to your bag, mount this to whatever. Uh, I believe there's probably a belt loop. It's probably what this guy is right here. Got a belt loop. Slip it onto the old belt to Rooney. A nice little touch there. Nice little addition. So let's pop this thing open. This thing's huge. Just prepare your body. Prepare your holes. Look at this thing, dude. <laughs> it's insane. It's huge. The Adamus. I, you guys will have to forgive me. I forget who the designer is. Um, 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 um. Mom, I'm sorry. I, the future me designer's name here. Wow, yeah, very famous, very uh, uh, popular designer. This is the Adamus, the manual one, the big, giant, ridiculous one. Uh, outrageous in every single way. It is immense. Let's do. Let's move the blade ops thing out of the way here, real quick. Let's do a size comparison. Here is a rock wall, which is like my go-to EDC size. Um, okay. Massive. Immense. Nice deep carry clip on it, though. Uh, here's a pair of three, by the way. Here's a pair of three. Immense. It weighs a quarter ton as well. I just want to let you know that. We have texturing everywhere. Back here, up here, all over the place. We've got grooves and holes and holes and grooves. Reversible clip, so that's nice. You can flip it uh, left-handed if you want to use it that way. A beast. Big conical thumb studs here. Everything's big. Everything's loud. Uh, two standoffs here on the back side. Running on phosphor bronze. Bench made axis lock. Let's give this thing a flick. God, dude. It's just immense. And I. it's so endearing to me, dude. Look at this thing. So this is the black version with this crazy hard coat like it's basically like rhino liner is what this coating is like you know like you line your your truck bed with to make it invincible that's basically what this is i have no idea what it is really thick chonky blade stock texturing here on the blade spine as well a beast speed holes all throughout so you can see right through that thing huge Seabert, that's the designer's name. We have the maker's mark here on the reverse on the clip side. CPM crew wear, that's your blade steel, and a whole hell of a lot of it. And then we have the bench made butterfly there. It's a behemoth in hand, and I have I wear small gloves, right? In hand, choked back, choked way back. I'm back here. 
I'm back here. And this is a short sword, right? And I'm, I'm here for it. You know what I mean? I'm all, I'm all in. Choked up normally. We have texturing here and here and here and here and here. There is no shortage of grippy, grippy tactical uh, grippiness. You, you're never going to let this thing slip out of your grasp. I promise you that. So choked up right here. Feels great. You know, thumb lands right there on the jimping. Super locked in. Super grippy jimping. Feels great. Feels safe. You have a nice separation from the edge. So you're not going to slip off of it if you decide to stab through a, a paint can. If you want to shotgun a, 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 a paint can. Or an oil can. That's a thing people do. Real nice, gnarly drop point style blade here. Nice tall flat grind. Not the thinnest behind the edge, but this is not a dainty slicer. This is made to be beat on and used uh, clearly. Just based on size and build alone. Lock up. Insane. Solid as a rock. Not going anywhere. We have this nice fuller here. I'm assuming that's to let the blood drain off of the blade from thine enemies. And that's cool, dude. Let it happen. Shh, just let it happen. <laughs> really nice. You can't feel the pocket clip. Ergos are excellent. Pinch grip on something this big doesn't make much sense, but that feels fine, honestly. That feels nice. I have no issues here. What a beast. I want to show, show it opened up, too, because it's just, it's a big one, bro. So there's the rock wall. And uh, let me line it up right. There's the rock wall. Ass to ass. And here is the pair three. <laughs> It's a biggin, bro. It's a biggin. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Action. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. I mean, that blade's so heavy. Very, because it is a bench made, there's almost, there's not quite enough tension from the uh, Omega Springs for you to get a satisfying kind of thwack out of that big blade. But once you go to close it, it closes nice and smooth on this phosphor bronze washers. So thumb flicks are fine. It takes all of your power to open this thing. You have to really want it. Reverse flicks? Eh. See, I miss it all the time. Eh. If I just don't move my wrist at all, let me see if I can reverse, reverse flick it. No. There's no way. There's just no way. It's just too big. Left-handed's fine. It is an ambidextrous lock. It is just so big. Thumb flick works great for me. The reverse flick, though, like I said, there's just not enough spring tension to, to really shoot that thing out uh, to give you a decent amount of resistance. But lockup's great. A little bit of lock stick, but not a ton. It's really easy to disengage. And because that blade's so heavy, it just glides home. Let's check the noise. Satisfying kerthwack. You know what I mean? But you can see I'm having to use a lot of wrist just because that blade's so heavy. It's insane. It was built for a purpose, and that purpose is far beyond my day-to-day -day uses for a pocket knife. But that's okay. Crewwear is this new steel to me. I've never had any experience with CPM crewwear. People love it, especially when it's done right. Benchmade tends to do a good job with their heat treats, usually. So let's see if this big old slab of crewwear will cut anything. Let me grab the phone book. Let's see if it'll handle the dainty task of slicing some phone book paper. Like a dream, dude. Excellent factory edge. Damn, Benchmade. I mean, that's a lot of steel and a lot of girth to just glide effortless, effortless, effortlessly through this very thin, finicky phone book paper. So yeah, cutting performance, straight out of the box, unreal. That is insanely satisfying. Crazy sharp, crazy slicey out of the box. Mr. Siebert, you have built a tank. I would like to check out the mini down the line. I'll get one eventually, but for now, we just have the big one just because it's ridiculous and it's hilarious and it's honestly really good. So uh, that's it. That's not the full review, just the unboxing, first impressions. Plenty of pictures on my Instagram. We'll talk about this on live streams. Pictures on Kara's Instagram as well. But uh, that's it for me, man. Keep an eye out. We'll be talking more about this. Excited to have a new bench made in the house and one I'm very, very impressed with. So uh, that's it. Until next time, I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.